Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the very first episode of Cooking with Crystal. So we are going to try once a month uh, to do a catch and cook episode or an episode where we're just trying out a recipe. Um, we catch a lot of fish and so we've been trying out some new recipes to mix it up a bit at home and we want to share that with you guys. Some of it will be our own recipes but a lot of it will just be recipes that we're trying out that we've found online. So since this is new to the channel, uh, if you guys want to see more of these types of videos, uh, some more catch and cooks and some more recipes, make sure you're liking and commenting and letting us know in the comment section if you want to see some more. Today is Chinook Salmon Day. We have some Chinook here to cook up. It's a beautiful fish and it tastes amazing. We are going to try some sashimi katsu and we are also going to try some teriyaki ginger salmon belly. This recipe that we are going to do today we found online. Kyle is on a big Japanese kind of cuisine thing right now where he's all about it. He just wants to explore and try all this different food. And I'm all about it too because it involves seafood and that's our number one in this house. It's a simple recipe which is great uh, and it seems to be very quick too which is great. We have four kids so simple and quick is always the A game for us. Okay guys, we're just gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan and you don't wanna cook it on a super high heat. A medium heat is plenty. As you guys know, salmon cooks really quickly. So you don't want it too, too hot. Okay guys, so these are our beautiful Chinook salmon bellies. We were gonna use these guys for halibut bait actually, um, but the DFO actually closed halibut really early in our area. So we've decided to cook them up. They're actually really delicious. They're a richer part of the fish and our kids love it too. So we're gonna make it up into a ginger teriyaki salmon belly. So the first thing we're gonna do is a bit of salt and pepper on both sides. So I'll do the salt and pepper on the one side first. The salt comes out pretty fast. I'm trying to do it gently here. You want to do the skin as well. And it's such a bonus to have kids that love seafood because we do have so much of it in our freezer pretty much all year round. Start them young. So we are going to sear both sides of the fish before we add the teriyaki sauce. And keep in mind that it does cook very quickly and these are really thin pieces as well. The belly is a little bit thinner, so you don't want to overdo it. I'm going to start flipping them over. See how quickly they've cooked on the one side already. Look at that, beautiful. So a few more seconds on the other side and we'll add some of the teriyaki sauce to it. So this is from Cabela's, which is one of our favorite shops to visit. We were there yesterday, we had a date day, so we picked up some of their sauces. This was one of them. It's a teriyaki Thai ginger. So this is quick, you guys, because there is sugar in the teriyaki sauce, so you don't want it to burn, or it'll get that kind of charred taste. And it's so tender that it just kind of starts to fall apart, and that's all right, too. Just do your best. 
and I am by no means a chef, honestly. Me and Kyle have been learning in the kitchen together lately, and it's been lots of fun. He's usually the barbecue guy, and I'm usually the, the stove top, and lately it seems we've kind of traded places, which is fun. We love trying out new recipes, especially with the fish we catch. Oh. Rosie, get out of here. Of course, our dog smells the fish, so she's... She's right in here, like a dirty shirt. Ooh, look at that. I hope it tastes as good as it smells. It smells amazing. So we have here all the ingredients to make our own homemade tartar sauce. Kyle and I actually bought some tartar sauce from the store it just was not doing it for us. Um, so we are gonna try making our own. Really excited, because everything's fresh. We can add as much lemon juice as we want, or as little to make it kind of a little bit tangier. And then we've got some prawns here that we already fried up with just some garlic butter. Our kids love prawns, so they always have to be a part of our seafood dinners. So we've got our boiled egg. We've got some mayonnaise, just some finely chopped onion, finely chopped sweet pickles, and some fresh lemon juice. And that's all there is, very, very simple. Just gonna start by mashing up the egg the best you can. I'm just using a fork here. And actually, until Kyle looked up this recipe, I had no idea that boiled egg was an ingredient in tartar sauce. I don't know if it always is, but this recipe had it in there and it just sounded like a good idea. So we're gonna give it a go. Okay. So I'll add the mayonnaise. We'll add all the other ingredients. Not sure, we just kind of eyeballed. We didn't measure with measuring cups. It's kind of how we roll in this house, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know, I think the more pickles, the better. I love pickles. Lemon juice, this is just one, one whole squeezed lemon juice or one whole squeezed lemon, I should say, sorry. It's the end of the day. <laughs> all right, we're just gonna mix all the ingredients together. There are six of us eating, so you can adjust your recipe accordingly. We're making quite a large batch just because there's a lot of us and we eat a lot. So sometimes it's just playing around with the recipe too. This is our first time doing this, so we don't know exactly how it's gonna turn out. It's an adventure. All right, phase two complete. All right guys, this is phase three. So this is the katsu shishimi and we have a tea fowl deep fryer and we you can have it set anywhere between 360 to 375. So we've got ours at 360. And this is our beautiful Chinook salmon. And we are going to take this and Dip it in the all-purpose flour first, then the egg, and then we've just got some panko breadcrumbs here. So you just want to get a nice even coating on both sides, best you can. I need a bigger bowl for the egg, I'm thinking. Yes, it's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, we saved the egg dilemma. Learning as we go here a little bit, guys. Like I said, I'm in no means a professional chef. We just enjoy cooking. All right. So you wanna coat both sides with the egg. I don't know why my dog's growling. She's a little bit strange, that one. Aren't you? All right, and into the panko. Whoops, we're making a mess, that's all right. 
You could do this twice too, if you wanted a thicker breading on the fish. I think we're just gonna do it the one time. I'm really making a mess here. All right, my hands are very goopy. Kyle's gonna open the air fryer for me. Or not the air fryer, the deep fryer. In she goes. It's not really in there very even. I need some paper towels. So the idea of the katsu sashimi is that it's just like cooked on the outside, but the inside is very rare. So you just want it to be a nice golden brown color on the panko and then you can flip it over and do the other side as well. So I'm just giving a little bit longer. It's looking pretty good though. Mm, that looks so good already. try doing it twice just Do to it, see the difference Do it, it's like a science experiment so this one I'm gonna batter it two times coat it twice just to see how it turns out when we first started fishing I mean we've always kind of had fish in our freezer because our family is a new clulet but you know it's kind of just like lemon and dill maybe a bit of butter and garlic. And now we're branching out and it's so much fun. Okay. Now we do the egg. messy on the hands, but that's okay. It's worth it. That was delicious, guys. I'm really glad that we tried this recipe. Mm. It's almost like a salmon wellington. It's a really nice way to eat the salmon because it got the crunch on the outside, but it's definitely not overcooked. It's really nice and soft and moist on the inside. Obviously, guys, we're not using sushi grade salmon here either. Um, so ours didn't turn out like you know, picture perfect, but doesn't matter, it still tastes amazing. So right now we're just gonna plate up the kids. So for them, we've added some rice noodles. They absolutely love rice noodles. We've also got the prawns as well. Our kids devour these things like you wouldn't believe. Our kids have expensive taste, I've realized. All right. And then they will also have some salmon belly. This is the teriyaki ginger glazed salmon belly. And we'll also let you know what our kids thought of it. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, 
We'll also give them a little bit of the sashimi katsu. We'll give them half a piece so that they don't waste it. All right, so there you go. So that's what we did for the kiddos. If you guys end up trying it, let us know what you guys think. Um, any comments, likes, all of that is always good and positive for us. So just let us know. Feel free to comment, like, let us know if you want to see more of these types of videos. Subscribe, share so you don't miss anything. We appreciate all your guys' support. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Casey Kayak Fishing. Thanks guys. Catch you later. Salmon uh, Katsu. Stop recording. I'm just way too tired for this shit. I'm gonna try doing a cook episode, a catch and cook, will you? Um, I need to start over. I'm so tired. Go for a stop recording. Okay, let's get the kiddos fed. Probably won't eat it. Let's be real here.